This podcast is brought to you by healthrangerstore.com. Lab tested clean foods and supplements for immune function, long term storage, and survival applications. Every purchase helps fund this free speech video platform. Thank you for your support. Left wing terrorists have seized six city blocks in downtown mm-hmm. Seattle, and they have issued a list of demands. They've also marched in and taken over City Hall. So, <laughs> Seattle has now been occupied by a radical left wing terrorist. Uh, Antifa and Black Lives Matter. And uh, this is hilarious to watch, actually, because these uh, left wing terrorists, they think that they have, you know, conquered Seattle. They think that they've defeated the police. No, you morons. The police just stood down and let you play your little kitty liberal mob game for a little while. You haven't conquered anything, (laughs) but they think they have. So part of the strategy here. It's so fascinating to watch is, you know, Trump is deliberately standing down because the whole goal here from Trump's point of view is to allow the left to show how insane they are. They are totally insane. They're a lunatic terrorist mob of violent, insane, you know, anti-police, anti-society. They're just a bunch of anarchists and terrorists. But it's hard to explain that to people. You know, it's hard to just say that. It's much better if America can see that on display. And so this is what's happening. So the left-wing terrorists have seized six city blocks and they've got their own armed guards now. And they've declared their own autonomous zone. They've declared they're no longer subject to the rule of law of the state of Washington or the country of the United States or even the city of Seattle. They create their own law now, they believe. Of course, they're still getting electricity from the city power grid, and they're still getting water services from the city water supply. So the only reason that they're even able to exist there is because the city is playing along, you know, allowing these delusional youth to pretend like they are achieving a cultural revolution in America. (laughs) Nothing of the kind is taking place. All they're doing is proving to the voters that no one should ever vote Democrat ever again. That's That's what's being done. So it's kind of genius on the part of Trump here. But what we're going to see in the the weeks and months ahead leading up to the election, we're going to see more of this, which, again, is just freaking genius on the part of Trump. We're going to see left wing terrorists take over cities and then they're going to march to the state capitol buildings and they're going to claim to have taken over entire states. So they're going to to go to the state capitol of Washington or Uh, Oregon or California, and they're going to take over the building, and then they're going to say that they are now the rightful rulers of those states. And uh, they've also issued, you know, demands, which tells you what terrorists they are. Uh, And some of their demands include, uh, of course, reparations for black people. They haven't defined how that's supposed to work. And uh, they've said to shut down all police. And they've demanded um, soy burgers, you know, vegan food, uh, meat replacements. So (laughs) I'm not even kidding. This is part of their demands because apparently they've run out of food because of their lack of planning. Now, these are the people who think they can run the state of Washington. They didn't bring enough food to last one day as they were seizing six city blocks of downtown Seattle. So think about the logistics here. And by the way, I think I think it would be awesome to uh, let them try to run the state of Washington for one day, you know, just just turn it over to them for a minute and uh, let them try and, and see what happens. Because if, if they couldn't figure out how to bring enough food to last a few hours, wait until they try to run, you know, law and order without the police. So th- their first, you know, priority is to abolish the police And uh, then I guess just let the gangs run Seattle. (laughs) Just let the gangs burn down their cities, you know, while they're looting uh, for reparations. I don't even know where they're getting the money for that. I I guess they think they're going to just demand uh, money from the state treasury or something. Well, the state's already broke, mostly because of these social welfare programs, by the way. So there's really nothing left to loot out of the state of Washington, you know. Oregon is mostly broke. California is totally bankrupt and billions in debt. What are they going to loot? 
from the states. I mean, all they're going to do is burn down their own left-wing Democrat cities, which, frankly, is not such a bad idea. We should thank them for what they're doing. I mean, they're, they're actually getting some shit done for once, you know? And they're, they're proving to America uh, why Democrats can only run everything into the ground. That's why I'm looking at this as just incredible comedy. This is, this is just hilarious theater to think that a bunch of anarchist black people and uh, white soy boy liberals think that they can figure out how to run society when they don't believe in any of the rules of society. They don't believe in law. They don't believe in economics. They just say uh, black people should get everything for free and white people should be punished. I mean, they don't even believe in justice or equality. They believe in racial discrimination against whites. They believe in bigotry. They believe in stealing from white people. <laughs> so they don't have a system of equality or justice or any rule of law. They demand anarchy and chaos, and that's exactly what they're producing. As far as I'm concerned, if they just want to cause massive chaos and burn down all the liberal cities, go for it. <laughs> you know, now, the minute you step into rural America, you know, real America, then you're going to be met with, you know, 50 cal Barrett fire. OK, just 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 to be clear, you're going to be met with return fire because we don't want you to burn down farmhouses and and spill out into the countryside. If you want to burn your own liberal shithole cities, then uh, go for it. Do that. Uh, just don't expect us to come to your rescue. OK, we're not going to bring you food. We're not going to bring you emergency medical care. We're not going to give you all free money. We're not going to turn over the country to you. We're just going to let you rot and go down in a blaze of glory with your shithole cities. If that's what you want to do, go for it. Why should anybody stop you? You know, if you want to pretend to take over the state of California, uh, th that would that's going to be quite hilarious. I can't imagine a, a bunch of these lunatic left-wing terrorists trying to go through one day of dealing with the California state budget and all the checks that have to be sent out to all the entitlement recipients and all the, you know, the government employees uh, just one day of that would drive anybody to suicide, by the way. So if they want to try to pretend they can take that over, you know, go for it. Look, the truth is that all the all the cities in America, the, the big ones where Democrats are in control, all those cities are going to collapse because cities are obsolete at this point. Cities are unsustainable. They're death traps. They have to import everything, their, their food, their water, electricity, gasoline, you know, fuel, energy, everything. And all they do is produce waste. They produce uh, toxic sewage. They, they produce uh, victimhood culture. They produce violence and lunacy in left-wing universities that train people how to be victims rather than how to be productive citizens in society. I mean, if every city were wiped off the map of America today by these left-wing terrorists, they would be solving a major problem. They would be actually making America great again. So let's, let's not pretend that this is some horrible you know, horrible threat to America. No, uh, the, we should encourage them to burn down more of their failed shithole cities, frankly. Now, of course, I'm being slightly sarcastic in this, so don't, don't take it literally. But on a serious note, <laughs> the, the cities are where all the problems are coming from. <laughs> so, you know, if they want to burn them down, why should we stop them? And, and that's the whole reason why nothing is being done to stop them at a federal level. Because again, Trump, Trump is is playing the game here of saying, let's let them show their, their hand. Let them show what lunatics they are. Let them show the world how destructive they are. And that's exactly what the left is doing. And, and while they think they're achieving these incredible victories, like, oh my God, we just took over City Hall. No, you didn't. There was another Antifa member who works at City Hall who had keys and let you in. You stupid punks. You, you stupid thugs. You didn't conquer City Hall. They just let you in. <laughs> they didn't conquer anything. Uh, it will be interesting when these Black Lives Matter terrorists and Antifa terrorists, it'll be interesting when they decide to, uh, like, they're just going to have so much arrogance and power. You know, they think they're in control. It's going to be interesting when they start marching down the highways and trying to take over states and trying to take over, I don't know, let's say military installations or National Guard installations, like they think they're going to walk up and just start taking armored personnel carriers and tanks, for example, and advanced weaponry. 
uh, they're going to get mowed down on the highways, if not by the National Guard, then by rural citizens. Because, you know, most of these people who are these left-wing terrorists, they're lazy. They've never marched cross-country. They're, they're not physically very fit. Uh, they're going to just walk down the highway, which is a perfect, you know, frankly, it's a shooting gallery. You just line them up. Uh, you can be, you know, a mile away with um, a Barrett or, or a hunting rifles or, or whatever, and you can just, just take them out. <laughs> they, don't even, they don't even hear the rounds coming. They don't even know where you're shooting from. There's nothing for them to burn down because they're just st standing around on the highway. You just, you just take them out. And so when they try that, they're going to get killed in, in enormous numbers. When they try that, they're, they're just going to get just totally slaughtered. And they're going to come to find that, oh, I guess they're not really in charge of anything. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of insane left-wing lunatic liberals taking over insane left-wing lunatic liberal city halls uh, is, is no real accomplishment, is it? That's the city hall already is run by lunatic left wing terrorists. You know, uh, you might as well march on Google. Google's already run by lunatic left wing nutbags and, and terrorists. You know, it's not like you're conquering anything just by going in there and saying Black Lives Matter or having your list of demands, you know, for soy boy burgers and vegan, vegan lunch options or whatever. Uh, so don't be overly alarmed. I, I guess that's my big point here. Don't be overly alarmed by this. They're, they're, they're just getting it out of their system. They're just burning their own cities. They're just showing the world who they really are. The main thing we should do is document this. Just have videos, share the videos, write the stories, share the stories, tell the truth, do the podcast. Because, you know, the left-wing media, which is also part of this left-wing lunatic mob, they are going to say that it's all peaceful. They're not going to call them terrorists. They're going to say, oh, they're peaceful demonstrators who have, you know, legitimate demands for social justice and equality. No, they are armed terrorists who are trying to take over the state and, and threatening to kill people who get in their way. <laughs> but they're comedic in the sense that they're so inept in their efforts. So, you know, we'll just let this play out for a little bit. Just w watch them burn down their own left-wing cities for a while. And at some point, you know, just shut off the power <laughs> and just watch them dissipate or just stop the food stamps in that city. You know, no more food stamps. Just, you know, you can cut them off very easily or just just watch and make sure they don't step outside the cities. And if they do, just shoot them, you know, just shoot them for being te the terrorists that they are. Uh, so there's a lot of ways that you can deal with this that get the job handled pretty, uh, pretty quickly. So don't be overly alarmed by this. It's not the end of the world. They're not actually conquering America. Uh, they, they only think they are, and the media is creating the false impression that they are, but it's actually not happening. Uh, they're, they're not going to be making any headway in rural America or you know, against the military once the military is actually deployed. Again, the only reason these left-wing terrorists are making any headway at all is because you know, the National Guard is totally disarmed. The rifles don't even have any ammo in them. The police have been ordered to stand down and evacuate. Nobody's shooting back. It's kind of it's easy to think you're conquering a nation when no one is shooting back, and that's actually a, a you know a battlefield trap tactic is to sucker people in to make them think that they're conquering while you're actually surrounding them and cutting off their supply lines from the back, which is exactly what's going to happen. They are they are terrorists and they think that they can you know overrule civil society and kill people. Uh, that, that they don't like and they, they can ignore all the laws and they can abolish all the police and they can demand that you pay them. Basically, they're engaged in massive blackmail. You don't negotiate with those people. You shoot them or, you know, you, you, you send artillery into their general vicinity. I mean, heck, they've already burned down all the buildings anyway. It's not like you're doing any extra damage to the, to the commercial property. Just launch artillery at them. Take them out. And you'll just you'll send a message at that moment, which is that, oh, by the way, we we are not going to surrender our society to a bunch of left-wing Antifa lunatic nut job terrorists, but it won't even last very long. It won't even take very long. You know, just a few rounds will uh, establish who actually runs the state of Washington, who actually runs the United States of America. And it isn't Black Lives Matter, by the way. It isn't Black Lives Matter. It's, uh, well, it's real Americans with the military 
the National Guard, the police, law and order, the president. That's who runs America. And, you know, you can pretend for a while that that you're running things, but you're not. Uh, until that happens, we can just watch and laugh at how they are making a mockery of themselves for being such such idiots. They haven't yet faced one American who has decided to shoot back. They haven't faced one AR-15. They haven't faced one U.S. Marine. They haven't faced one Texan who's determined to defend his farm. Not one. The minute Americans start shooting back, it's over. Totally done, over, and that day is coming. But until then, it's going to be really entertaining to watch them make fools of themselves. I can't wait. Uh, thank you for listening. Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger. Brighteon.com is the platform to see more of these videos. And by the way, if you're still in the cities, uh, get out. You know, you, you need to bug out because they are going to cause a lot of chaos in the cities for a while, probably a few more months. But they're just burning down their own grounds. <laughs> they're burning down all their own, their own communities. I mean, it's because they're, they're morons. They're, they're a bunch of left-wing idiots. So <laughs> watch and, and laugh. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.